I think everyone was born ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you now to the OS. You do you. Better do, pig. That will do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we bring you to the OSS Test Arena. I should probably write these intros down after a while. But now we are going through another test, another dorm challenge between Black Paladin, we call him Dark, we call him Black Paladin, 530, versus Dark Warrior 77. Black Paladin is a raw, and he's going for Obelisk today. He's going for Obelisk Gold, or Blue, as we should say it. We're already starting the duel off pretty strongly. But no one has put down a monster. It's now turn three, Dark Warrior's turn. He has one face down spell or trap card against Dark Paladin, who he has three cards face down. It's now the main phase one. Let's see who will make the first move. Warrior puts down Twin Twisters, discarding a lure to darkness or of darkness. Yep, a lure of darkness. And he destroys Shrink and Mirror Force. Paladin sends out that, that Alexandrite Dragon and takes Dark Warrior for 2,000. Warrior's turn, turn 5. He sets one card face down, and that's it. He just can't seem to get a monster right now. The battle phase will start soon, but not before Twin Twisters. Paladin discards Black Dark Hole, and he takes out Limit Reverse and Mirror Force. That's what happens when you wait too long, Paladin. Now, Dark, Dark Warrior has lost half his life points right now, and he needs to put down a monster, which he does. He puts down one monster and two face downs. Dragon coming in. Paladin puts one card face down, and he attacks that face down card. And it is the calculator. It looks like he's using some form of deck. Yeah, that's, that's really descriptive, Brian. Good job. But it looks like Warrior's just not getting the start he needed. Warrior doesn't do anything, while Paladin looks like he might just chalk up an early lead in his raw duel. He direct attacks. And it looks like he's not going to be stopped. Dark Warrior takes another 2,000 life points. This is getting risky. This is getting definitely, definitely risky. Or maybe Dark Warrior just doesn't have anything. 2,000 life points. He sets one more, he sets two cards face down, and this might be the last turn of this duel. Ugh, Dark Warrior looks like he's throwing in the towel early. Let's see if he can regain that in his next two duels. If he has them. He brings back Call the Haunted, and the only thing he has is the calculator. But, but regardless, he might be able to save himself right now. He brings up Call the Haunted. He brings out the calculator in attack mode. He only has 600 attack, so there's not much he can really do. And Warrior takes 1,400. Warrior's down to 600 life points, and he draws. He activates Allure of Darkness. He has to get, a mo has to get at least two monsters. He banishes... Street Patrol, and he activates Pot of Duality, and he will add another Street Patrol card, and he sets that face down, and an, and one card face down. Seems pretty desperate for Warrior, but Paladin looks like he's confident. He, takes, he uses Regeki, and he's going to take out that Street Patrol monster. Let's hope his face down will save him. It's another Call of the Haunted, and he brings out Street Patrol. And it looks like he doesn't really have much of an option. That's that's what I think. He attacks. And Warrior loses another 400 life points. This is not the best duel for Dark Warrior. Very few monsters, and looks like some face downs he can't use until later in the duel. 
He banished his street patrol to special summon a monster. What could that monster be? It has to be one fiend-type monster with 2,000 or less attack points. And we have Yubel. I guess this is finally his deck. This is the Yubel deck. Fiendish Chain is activated, which will keep Yubel held down. Uh-oh. I agree, this might not be the best choice of words right now. But let's see if Howden can use some of his special attacks. Well, as in special attacks, I mean his special I mean Yubel's special ability. He activates another call of the haunted. And he brings out the calculator. He might have hope now. He attacks Alexandrite Dragon with the calculator, now fueled with thirty six hundred attack points. He activates Book of Moon, and that will put the calculator down. But at least Yubel won't need to attribute anyone. No, still looks like it does. Nope, it doesn't. Yubel is just an open target. Powden summons the Asian of Miracles Jupiter. But what will happen now? Does Warrior have a card that can help him? It doesn't look like it. Not a good moment for Dark Warrior. We have two very strong cards, and if he's even able to negate one of them, he still has Jupiter to deal with. Let's see what happens. Let's see what card he attacks with. He's thinking. He's thinking. He's casually, casually thinking. What cards could he possibly use? He has two face down spell and trap cards. Maybe he's going to be able to use them in this duel. Alexander Dragon attacks. And unfortunately, that's the end of that's the end of the duel for Dark Warrior. Doc Podden wins his first duel out of two matches. In order to be ascending from Ura to Obelisk, he needs to win two matches using two very different decks. Well, they don't have to be different, very different, they just have to be different. But Dark Warrior, in terms of finding out your opponent, they're good with finding out what the what is the best way to get rid of your certain cards. But we'll see if round two has better help for Dark Warrior. Doc Paladin seems to be on a very good track. He has one win ahead of him, but let's see what happens. He chooses to do nothing. Dark Warrior has the turn. Completely empty field, doesn't put a single card down, and let's see what Dark Warrior does. Dark, Dark Paladin 530 has a very big deck for an uh, OSS deck. He has 49 cards in his deck, while Dark Warrior has only 42. You want to be as close to 40 as possible for some decks, but it really depends on what you want to do. He direct attacks with Mystic Tomato, and he is unopposed. He sets one card face down, and that will be the end of it. Powder gathers his thoughts. Powder employs Dark Hole, and he destroys Mystic Tomato. And he summons, special summons, Kaiser Vorsch Raider. This is a very good 5-star monster, which is very good because you only need... you. The only requirement is that you don't have a card. You don't have a monster. But it's counteracted with Bombless Trap Hole. Dark Warrior puts one more card face down, and the turn is Dark Paladins. He sets one card face down, and that's it. I, what I've noticed so far is it's been very low on monsters. Let's see if this duel will change it. Dark Warrior's thinking. He has five cards in his hand. And one card on the field. He activates Allure of Darkness. Draws two cards. And he will banish what card? Has to be a dark card or else he'll have to put all his cards in the graveyard. He banishes you, Bell, And he'll summon Mystic Tomato again. Direct attack. And Paladin will take it. He's going to take another 1400. And that will push him down to 5200 life points. <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't like the way I say you bell. I'm sorry, is there a better way to say the word you bell? Just type it out. Let me know. I don't know how to say that. But too bad for Mystic Tomato as it gets hit with Dark Core.
but only for Warrior to be ready with Dark Bribe. The card he chooses to discard is not important right now. He uses a second Dark Hole to get rid of Mystic Tomato. Alexandra Dragon aims up for the attack. What does Paladin have? He uses the Mirror Force card on one monster. I guess he learned from his last duel not to take things too lightly. Maybe he didn't have a Mirror Force face down. Typically as a duelist, you don't typically use trap cards for only one monster. But Paladin isn't caring. He discards Callus the Shadow Monarch for Twin Twisters, and he's going to direct attack with Dark Arm Dragon. Ugh, I hate to be Dark Paladin at the moment. But it looks like this game might go into our final match. A tiebreaker, if you will. Pot of Duality. A lot of good cards there. And he will choose Limit Reverse. And he will summon Armageddon Knight. He'll, he'll be able to send Yubel to the graveyard. And the win goes to Dark Warrior 77. Now with the match tied... We will now go to one more game, and that will decide the match. If Dark Warrior wins this, he, he will be able to end this test right now. But if Black wins this, he will be able to go to the next part of the test, in which he has to use another deck. Let's see what happens. Yubel versus... <laughs> I'm going to love saying that. Yubel versus whatever Paladin has. So far in the Tool Duels, we haven't seen a boss card for Black. You bo. Well, that actually... <laughs> uh, you bo. Really? Yo bo. <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun with this. How about this? How about I just say that 8-star monster with zero, uh, 0 attack and defense points? How about that? 10-star. <laughs> well, as Dark Warrior slowly loses himself, he'll end, the, he'll end his turn on Street Patrol. Paladin will summon Cyber Harpy Lady with one card face down, and he's going to go into the attack. Warrior draws. He sets one card face down, two cards face down, and that'll be the end of his turn. Paladin draws. He enters the battle phase, and he's going to direct attack with Cyber Harpy. And again with the Mirror Force. But does Paladin have a counter? He does not. But because he did not normal summon the turn, he brings out Dark Witch. 1,800 attack points, and 1,050 defense points. Dark Warrior draws. Main phase one. And it seems that Dark Warrior will be taking a leave of absence right now. We'll take the time to... We'll take the time to leave and figure out what's going to be happening around the league. Well, around the league, clearly no one else is playing right now, as I can't see that. But let's look at the graveyards. Black Paladin has one card in his graveyard. That's that Cyber Harvey Lady we saw earlier. And for Dark Warrior, we have a little bit more of an interesting story. We have Street Patrol and a, as the Banished. It was used to use Allure of Darkness in, his, in, his, in Warrior's second turn. So we have a Street Patrol, an Allure of Darkness, and a Mirror Force. What can happen next? We can only find out. Dark Warrior doesn't have too long, but he doesn't take too long to worry. He activates his Call of the Haunted and brings out Street Patrol. But what could he use it for? He summons the Calculator. And now the Calculator will attack Dark Witch, and they will both be... No. Oh, that's not a pretty sight. He used to shrink to shrink him all the way down to zero. He's going to lose that attack bonus. And it's just it's just uh, Street Patrol on now. He has one card face down. But Dark Witch doesn't seem to mind. He, he attacks Street Patrol. And he loses that 200 life points. Warrior's down to 5,800. While Dark Paladin still has all of his life points left. He sets one monster in face down defense mode. And that's the end of his turn.
Warrior draws. He summons Armageddon Knights, and he's going to send one Dark Monster from his deck to his graveyard. And he chooses that 10-star Dark Monster we all know and love. I'm going to keep calling, I'm going to call him Yobel. That's right. And Armageddon Knight will attack, and that's a pen the Dark Clown. That's a card I have not seen in a while. With a great with a great card, when it's sent to the graveyard, it can be banished for another pen in the Dark Clown from the hand or deck. That's good when you need a tributing monster. Now with two monsters on the field, what will happen now? We have a Dark Wish in attack mode, and he's going to tribute pen the Dark Clown for Summon Skull. An oldie but goodie. He's now an Archfiend monster now. Summon Skull, attacks Armageddon Knight, and it's going to let it happen. Goes to the graveyard, and Dark Witch will come out, and it's also going to be a direct attack. Dark Warrior's down to 2,900 life points, and it looks like the match might go to Black Powder, and so m mad props, bro, mad props. Dark Warrior draws, but maybe that's what he wanted. With exactly three Dark Monsters in the graveyard, he's able to use Summon Dark Armed Dragon. He banishes cards like No Tomorrow, right now too, and he attacks an almost Dark Witch. And it's good. I actually thought there was going to be an Honest there. If there was an Honest, that would be game. But now, Paladin draws. Dark Arm Dragon still has one Dark Monster in the graveyard to do, but it looks like he's going to summon Black Luster Soldier, and that's going to be the end of that. He's going to banish Dark Arm Dragon. Or is he? Limit Reverse is going to bring out you Bell. And that guess that's a good way to just protect a card. I mean, I'm not going to really doubt that. That's not a bad idea. Dark Warrior just loves this right now. But Limit Reverse is still a great card to use on that. Because now, Yubel's going to go to the Graveyard by Card Effect. And he's he's going to bring out Terror Incarnate. Thank you, I don't have to say his original name. Terror Incarnate is now the monster that's going to be out. He uses the Lord of Darkness to, take out, to banish the Ultimate Nightmare. He sets one card face down, and he's going to end his turn. Because he doesn't need to attack. Because during the, your end phase, he can destroy all other monsters on the field. That can be that can be good, and this is not a good sign for Black Paladin. He needs to find a way to get monsters on the field and have them stay on the field. But the only upgrade from Terror Incarnate to Ultimate Nightmare is Terror Incarnate still cannot use his ability on his opponent's turn. And by that, I mean... His ability in terms of before damage calculation, when this face up attack position monster is attacked by an opponent's monster, it can infect damage on the opponents equal to that monster's attack points. But Call of the Haunted was pretty good there. He was able to deal 3600 damage right to his life points. So now, Powden's on the same level as Dark Warrior. And this isn't looking good. He tributes Terror Incarnate for Callus, and he's going to attack directly. Paladin's at 700 life points. I am biting. <laughs> Hopefully my strategy is perfect, because he's going to banish Alexandra Dragon to bring out Darkness Metal Dragon. He's going to summon a level 7 defense monster, in case anything sour goes wrong, which it's a good thing he does. Mirror Force takes out Darkness Dragon. And I'm aware there is no L in the Shadow Monarch. But with that, I think right now I'm just trolling Dark Warrior right now on his turn. But it's a good thing Powden has that defense monster. 2,800 defense points. Ain't a bad, that's not a bad defense card at all. And he's going to need something else in order to take him out. Either another Shadow Monarch... Or maybe something even stronger. He summons Dark Griffer in attack mode. 700 attack points, 600, uh, 1600 defense points. 
But now will he use his ability? He will. He's going to discard another 10-star monster. I'll just put it up here for everyone else to see. And he's going to send Terra Incarnate to the graveyard. And that's going to be the end of his turn. He set... Paladin sets one card. And maybe Warrior's just waiting until he summons Vorse Raider. Vorse Raider will attack. And Dark Warrior, what does he have? If he has a Magic Cylinder, this will end the game right here. The anticipation is building. We don't... And... Nope. Warrior takes the hit. But now, there's a wide open monster. Though, Warrior should worry about that face down card. Because if it's a Mirror Force and he takes him out, Force Raider might just make it real. Oh, there's that magic cylinder. And now the match is very close. Paladin has 700, while Dark Warrior has 300. Oh, the anticipation is killing me! He sets one monster face, one card face down. That could be anything. It could be a Mirror Force, it could be a Magic Cylinder. This is where the game will end. He will attack Force Raider. And it's a 500 life, 500 life points are away. Looks like that card might just be a bluff. But this is close. I absolutely agree. Paladin shoots a dark hole. He's going to take out every monster. No monsters on the field. Brings out the Gemini Elf. He direct attacks. And there's the limit reverse again. Limit reverse to you, Bell. Ah, I said it again. Lim limited reverse can bring out a monster with less than a thousand attack points. I am a Bell. You are absolutely right. He shifts to defense mode, and now his effect will activate. And he's going to bring out Terror Incarnate. From I, for I keep forgetting it's not from his deck. Oh, but Paladin is ready. Use this fiendish chain to chain him up. Warrior sets one card face down, and hopefully that will save him. Hopefully on his next turn he'll be able to use he'll be able to move Terra Incarnate to defense mode. That's the only way I can think of him getting out alive. Jim Elf attacks Terra Incarnate. Oh, and that's the end of the duel, and Pal and Paladin moves to the next round. When I mean round, I mean he won the match. But now we get to see a new deck from both Dark Warrior and Black Paladin. Let's see what happens. Now I gotta say, this that last duel was a very close duel. And it's really awesome to see this happen. Steve Sal looks like he's part of the conversation. But he's... He's just chilling there. I don't think he wants to move. And I guess we're just waiting for Powden to be ready. Because for the raw test, he needs to win two he needs to win two matches with two different decks. And it looks like he's ready. And it looks like we're gonna get this party started. I cannot wait because the anticipation was killing me last time. That was a very close match. That was a very close tiebreaker. Probably one of the closest tiebreakers that I have seen in quite a while. Powden was clutch with that fiendish chain. Dark Warriors think about what deck, and they're going to go into it. They both choose paper, and they finally win out. And Dark Warrior will start the match. The second match. If he's able to win both matches here, He'll be able to shut out Paladin for another three days to become an obelisk. But we'll find out what happens right here. The main phase one is happening. And let's check out the decks. Dark Warrior has 41 cards in his deck. And no cards in his extra. While Black Paladin has 54 cards in his deck and one card in his extra deck. And Dark Warrior only starts out with a reborn that monster the reborn Tengyu and Paladin starts strong with a dark blade the captain of the evil world he attacks he's gonna deal 100 damage and he's gonna bring out another reborn to the field 
in defense mode this time. Hopefully he can use this as a tribute. And no, he's not. He's going to put one more monster face down and one card face down. Powden's move. He has three spell or trap cards face down on the field, so he's ready for anything. He's going to attack that Reborn again. He looks like he just wants to drain that deck of them, because they're not a good, they're not, they're not good monsters that you can deal with. With an effect that when this card leaves the field, they can be tributed and come back. They can be destroyed and come back. They can be returned to the hand and come back. No matter what, they can come back to the field. But we'll have to check it out. Dark Warrior summons Breaker, the Magical Warrior. And he's going to have that spell counter on for just being able to be successfully normal summoned. Or will he? Oh, that's a bummer. Powden uses Book of Moon to put Breaker in face-down defense mode. Not only is he in face mode, but also he lost that spell counter. And speaking of what he lost... He lost that third Reborn. And that's, that's really useful, and it looks like this is his win deck. 26, uh, this is only 2,600. This is not going to be good. Powden has 8,000 life points. Hello. Hello, who is this? Tetsu! Yo! No, this is the PA Music Man.